Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's lesson, we will start to concentrate on transaction. I'll start with sales transaction called quotation. We go to SQL Finance Accounting System. We go to Sales Module. Over sales, you can see we have few different type of transaction. So we always start with quotation. We send to customer, then customer confirm send a purchase order. Customer purchase order is our sales order. Then we deliver the goods to a customer. It's called delivery order. Then we invoice the customer. It will be invoiced. Sometimes if your company do cash sales, where customer pay cash on the spot, we can enter over cash credit note if customer return a good and deduct from your in previous invoice then it will become a credit note. debit note is you undercharge a customer let's say the thing is supposed to be 200 ringgit and you undercharge at 180 you want to add back the 20 ringgit you can key as debit note so let's start with quotation Whenever you enter a transaction, the first page that you see is called a listing. So you will see the first line is empty. This is a searching row. What a searching row is, for example, you go to company, you type the company name and it will sort by the company name with what you have key. And also, when you see there's column by column, you right click at any column header. You can go to a place called Field Chooser. At Field Chooser, you can drag out any available column. For example, for you can drag and drop at anywhere. Drag and drop. So, by pulling additional information, then you can use them as searching criteria. For example, I want to find a contact person called form. Then you know this the company name and the other information. At column stage right click column header another interesting thing is you can export the whole grid to excel for example you can actually export the things to your desktop call customer master then you have the exact same thing in Excel format. If you always want to see this column and you do not want to every time do the field chooser, what you can do is right click again at column header, go to grid layout, save layout, just type a name, let's say default. Take set this as default, save. So when you close, go in again, the exactly same column will still be. There. If not, for example, I pull a few call project. I go out, come in again, the will be this. So remember. Whenever you have pool by using field chooser, we always save the layout. So we go to transaction. In SQL accounting system, all the transaction is entered within a page, not as certain software you need to key in field page to get a transaction. It's very troublesome. 
you can contact me with this information I provide from Syntax Technologies. Okay, so we always start with key in a customer. There's an interesting point in SQL where you can forget all the code, customer code, item code, account code, because we can always use the name as a searching criteria. For example, over here, you can see the company name have been bold. So it means that you are using company name as a searching criteria. If I type KI, it will sort out to get my customer by using the company name. If it happened like this, you try to key in KI, nothing come out. It's only because the highlight call is at another place. For example, here is currency. So what you need to do is at your keyboard, click that tab key, T-A-B. Tab, it will jump to another column. Tab, tab. So you jump to company, then you get your result. System will have the auto running number. If you need to use your own number, a specific number, for example, and it's not auto running, you can just type over the quotation number and it will overwrite the running number. If not, just empty it. Then it will become like new. It will use the next number automatically key in the date if there is any agent terms will come automatically so you key in your item for example max you can see I'm using description as my searching criteria mx all the things will come up unit price the unit price you can change at any point of time like this I change the unit price I key in the quantity. There's a useful column that I always like to drag out. It's called more description. So see column header, right click column header, view chooser again. You can pull more description. After pull out, always right click, grid layout, save layout, put at default. Take set this at default. So what happens under more description is sometimes you may want to key in a long description color blue size large something like this do not save like this because it will save as another text file it's very troublesome so you just direct close it ask whether you want to save the change then you click yes so I do two more item EG cell call key in the quantity so you can see the subtotal will come up automatically and it will up, up as a total you can always put discount you can put as 10% plus a amount plus another 5% SQL accounting software allow multiple level of discount normally you don't know location is if you purchase the multi location module then you can set you want to get the item is from which where or which location Okay, then you can save it. Oh, before you save, let's say you want to move Cellcom up. Then click this moving up. Then Cellcom can move up or move down. Okay. Some customer like to ask me if they do this. You click at the plus is create an empty line like Excel. Let's say you key like this. What is the difference between keying over here and keying under more description? 
if you keep as a description when you transfer to another document later uh, during sales order i'll teach you how to transfer from quotation to sales order without re-key in the information if you do this this information will not be transferred over only anything that comes with item code for a small description the data under more description will be transferred over i'll show you during sales order okay we save it so there are other options at the site you can key like project you can change the building address you can change the attention and so on you can do attachment like you want to attach a certificate whatsoever put in some notes item template i'll show you in another lesson so you save it already you can see the this is the preview button i always advise customer to preview before in. when you preview you can select different template the format will be different okay so you see the more description will come up okay this is one template or you can choose another template you can see it's different So this is how you create a transaction in SQL accounting system. Our example will be quotation. In the next lesson, I'll teach you how to key sales order by transferring the data from quotation or create a new one. That's for that's all for today. Normal as usual, you can contact me with this information. I'm Brian from Sex Technologies. Thank you.